Y'all, I can hardly contain myself. Okay, I am so excited for this video. If you love fragrances, listen, okay? Dream come true. Let me show you why. I have to be careful. Do you see this? Do you see this? I received all of these perfumes in PR. And guess who they are from? Roja Dove, hun. Roja Parfums, y'all. Listen, let me carefully put these down. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I do focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, fragrance, luxury, whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I'll put out a bonus video on Sunday. So I don't want you to miss any of them. So if you are not familiar, allow me to help you get familiar because this is a name that you need to know if you don't already. So Roja Dove is a British perfumer and he is known for his luxurious fragrances, you guys. Um, one of the most known fragrances that I've heard of is Creation E from Roja Parfums. And let me just tell you something. He is supposedly the greatest nose okay he is that's what he's been named by gq and they reached out to me because they are creating or they have created a essence of parfum line so roja dove is known for creating very heavy you know beast mode type fragrances if you are familiar with creation e you would know so he created a line that is essence of parfums which is supposed to be more like a toilette but they perform like a perfume or a parfum so they last just as long as the really deep rich scents that he has but they're a little bit lighter and with that comes a better price point. So if you have wanted to get into the Roja Parfums, but you find them to be a little bit out of your price range or whatever have you, these are supposed to be the ones. Now, the reason why I'm so excited is because all of these are blind buys from me. I have never owned a Roja Parfum in my life, but I have smelled a couple and they have this, I don't know what it's called. It's the men's, it may be Elixir for men and it's in a blue bottle. It is it's beautiful they also have the elixir for women which i think i have and i think the elixir for women is what actually started this essence of parfum line because um the elixir fragrance was one of those lighter more feminine scents and a lot of people took well to it and it came out about two years ago and that's when i smelled it um somebody caught me in sex and they were like you need to smell this you know waving me down and everything and i was like oh this is beautiful but during that time it was winter time so I really wasn't looking for something fresh like that. So I am super excited to have these fragrances. I think, yeah, I have five fragrances here. I believe they have six in the entire line, but I'm going to go through all five of the ones that I receive. Now, let me just say this before I get started. I know y'all want me to hurry it up, but these were sent to me for free. However, comma, they were sent to me for consideration. When someone sends an influencer or a brand sends an influencer something for consideration that means they are just for you to enjoy if you love them post if you don't don't worry about it so I thought this would be a fun video because I don't own any Roja parfums this is a very niche house very expensive um and if these perfumes are amazing and we can get them at a lower price point, I'm here for that. So I'm going to test out all five with you all today. Let's go ahead and get started. Y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited. And these are in no particular order because again, I don't know anything about these. So they still have the cellophane on there and I hate unwrapping these on camera, but just to show you, I waited for y'all, okay? So let's go ahead and open these. And I think these are the full size. Like, 
OMG. I'm so happy, you guys. I have been on a fragrance ban that I've put myself on. I just felt like I was getting too many fragrances. So to receive a gift like this, listen. So the first one is called Creation E Parfum Essence Day Parfum, which is interesting because I was just, that's the only one that I've ever really heard a lot about. So let's see, okay. Oh, the packaging. This is luxury. Look at this. Y'all, it slides out and these are full bottles, OMG. Look at this, oh wow heavy bottles i gotta show y'all this up close this is creation e essence de parfum now i cannot compare this to anything because i don't have the ori original creation e so what i'm going to do i need to get some cards hold on i didn't got too excited hold on let me get some tags y'all know how we do clothing tags hold on Okay, y'all, I got my tags. Y'all know I be shopping everywhere. So <laughs> let's go ahead and test this out. I'm trying to think, do I want to smell it first? Yes, I want to smell it first just to get my reaction. And then we'll go into the notes. Wait. Okay. Again, this is Creation E Essence. Wow, this smells really good. Oh my goodness. You know what, this kind of, oh wait, it's doing something. This is good, y'all. So I can only imagine what the original smells like because it's not super, super strong, but it's definitely along the lines of like the Passion de l'Amour and the Alien, you know, it's very different, which makes sense because Creation E is really like en Enigma, which is like a puzzling type of, you know, something that you can't quite figure out. This is a beautiful fragrance, but I can see how this could be an Eau de Toilette because the fragrance itself is so unique, it's very deep, but it has a lightness and fluffiness about it. So, um, this is sexy too. Beautiful scent. Wow, let me read the notes on this. I'm obsessed already. Oh my goodness. Mm, I'm still smelling on this. This is such a nice, fresh, unique scent. I've been looking for just something different. Wow. Okay, so this says unravel the mystery. Oriental, rich and soft, fresh, cool, sweet, fruity, and powdery. Yeah, I am getting that powdery feel. It says soft powdery whispers of orris and musk dance around a central note of elegant rose de mai, but all is not what it seems as an explosion of juicy fruits hint at something to sink your teeth into. Beneath this portrait of refined femininity, something deeper and more exotic weaves its way out of the shadows. A damp, earthy accent of patchouli brings a carnal edge to the sensuality of sandalwood, which is taken to dis dizzying heights with the animalic impulse of ambergris. At once familiar and yet utterly ambiguous, the in inability to put your finger on who that woman is, the, is, the, is the enigma itself. And you know what, that is so true because again, like I said, when I first started smelling this, it was very powdery, very feminine, but the dry down of this is really turning into something that I've never smelled before. It's beautiful. The top notes are lemon, bergamot, and mandarin. Heart notes are geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine de grass, ylang ylang, heliotrope, and peach. The base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, orris, ambergris, and musk. Okay. I'm loving this. Very different. It does still give me that powdery feel. Um, but I think that this would be a beautiful date night scent in the spring. You can wear this in the spring and summer, but definitely beautiful like date night type of scent. This retails for $290 and all of these are 
four fluid ounces. So you get a really nice size for, you know, a, a nice price because the original perfumes by Roja are like $500 or something like that. So this is a really good price point and it's not skimping on quality, you guys. This smells beautiful, but you know, I got to get through all of them before I decide which scent I want to wear for today. Oh, I love that. Let's move on. The next fragrance is called 51 and of course it's the essence. So let me go ahead and open it up and see what it smells like. Y'all, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Like, man, you wanna make my day? Let's talk about fragrances. <laughs> the packaging on these are really beautiful too. Like I've never had any fragrances that come like this. This is how you know you're into some luxury. So it has the name and I like the fact that they have the name right there at the top. So this one is called 51 and it's the same like purple bottle. It has like a little gem right there. This is a gorgeous bottle, you guys. So beautiful. And these are so heavy. Okay, let's next clothing tag. Let's see. Okay, you, you can't smell it that much through the thing yet, but I smell something. Let's see. Oh, this is more cologne -y, I will say. Yeah, this is a little bit more masculine. And the name 51 gives me that. It gives like a green type of vibe. What am I smelling? Hold on, let me let this dry down. I'm still getting like a powdery type of note, but this is definitely a little bit more masculine. Yeah, I'm getting like a green note in here. I, I can't pull it out. It's kind of like a, mm, wait. What is that? I gotta pull up the notes on this one, y'all. I'm stumped. And I love that because it's so unique. It's so different. Only thing I'm really able to say is that it's masculine. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so they describe this one as the epitome of elegance, oriental, rich and soft, fresh, sweet, fruity, and warm. So this says, like a sparkling jewel box, the Rosia Parfums flagship boutique at 51 Burlington Arcade nestles in one of London's most iconic addresses in London's Mayfair. Bringing the prestige and personality of this award-winning store to life, 51 Parfum is a scent where nothing is Nothing is exactly as it seems. Juicy fruit notes of bergamot, lemon, mandarin, and raspberry lend a vibrant contrast to the floral grace of rose, jasmine, and lily. Maybe that was the lily I was smelling, which nestles on a smooth and sensual base. Elegant yet effervescent, 51 is a playful homage to the Burlington Arcade where luxury abounds and all is not quite as it seems once you peek behind the curtain of propriety. So this one has lemon, bergamot, and mandarin. So the same top notes. The heart notes are lily of the valley, rose de mai, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine de grass, tuberose, lily, ylang ylang, and raspberry. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan of tuberose, but it's kind of hidden in there. Uh, then it also has violet leaves, aniseed, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, cashmere wood, sandalwood, benzoin, vanilla, and orris. So I think those base notes are what's giving me more of that masculine vibe, the benzoin. Oh yeah, the dry down on this, yes, this is very different. It's kind of green to me. I mean, maybe it's more floral that I'm smelling, but it's definitely a little bit more on the masculine side. So if you are into more of a masculine scent that's not too sweet, this one is a good one, you guys. I like this. This is, I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. When would I wear this? I feel like it's a little heavier. Um, they're, they're both given date night scents, but this one is a little bit more date night. Um, but to me, this is really strong for this not to be like, you know, one of his original, like super rich fragrances. So, I think it's safe to say that the quality is still there. 
I'm trying to think of what outfit I would pair with this. This is definitely not given like garden dress, you know, super feminine. This is, like I said, a little bit more masculine, um, but it's still kind of daytime, if you will. I would probably wear this, like I said, spring, summer, date night. So I would probably be wearing like a suit or maybe a jumpsuit or something. I can't put my finger on it. I'll have to come back into like what I would wear with this one. That first one, I could totally see myself wearing like a really pretty dress. It's not ultra, ultra feminine, but it's powdery. And so I can see myself wearing like a nice little, you know, date night dress or something like that with some strappy heels. This would definitely be strappy heels, but I think that it's more of a dark place. So maybe if you were going to like a speakeasy or something like that in the summer, um, that one, I think, you know, just like, you want to feel beautiful and elegant. This one is sophisticated, if I do say so myself. Now this next one is called Scandal, or is it Scandal? So let's open this one up. Okay, let's spray Scandal. Oh, wow, this one's different. They're all different. Now, this may be a little too different. Hold on. I don't, th now this is the first one. It's dirty. It's giving a dirty vibe. Maybe that's the scandal of it all. It's definitely giving sweaty dirty. Is that patchouli that I'm smelling? It has a sweetness to it. This is something that I've never in my life smelled. Wow, I have to get into the notes on this one immediately, y'all, because I don't know what I'm smelling right now. And it, it's definitely like, it, it, it's a dirty, sweaty vibe. Like, not in the, like you stink, but just that scandalous type of dirty. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what we have here. Wow, that's so different. I've never smelled anything like this. Okay. And listen, I love the scenario so this says this ensures you are talked about and i could not agree more this is so unique and different it's floral sweet fresh warm and very sensual yes i'm definitely getting the freshness but it's, it has a dirtiness to it. Okay, when a scandal hits, heads turn and secrets unravel. Everything is exposed as barriers are pushed and limits are tested. You either hide or embrace it. Never want to shy away from the spotlight. Scandal opens with a citrus blast of lemon and bergamot. I think they all have that in there. And I can see that because it, it was kind of giving me like a aquatic type of vibe, which herald a head turning trilogy of creamy white florals uh deeply narcotic tuber it was the tuberose that's the tuberose i'm smelling and i'm not a huge fan of tuberose yes that's exactly what i'm smelling that's to me tuberose smells kind of dirty there you go deeply narcotic tuberose gardenia and jasmine form the heart of this creation whilst warm whispers of sandalwood oris and musk create a soft and sensual bed for these inviting white petals to fall upon but be warned for when wearing this daring bouquet it is impossible not to tempt others to talk yes if you like tuberose and you find that to be super sexy this is a good one now thinking about it, it does the dry down. I'm smelling more of that tuberose and it is kind of reminding me of the Gucci Bloom, the original. But I'm, I'm definitely still smelling like that lemon in there. So it's still very fresh. And I can only imagine the more that it dries down, the more of those white um, florals come out. But the tuberose, is, it stood out to me at the very beginning because like I said, it was something like, oh wow, I don't know if I like it. It's tuberose. I may have to wear this on the skin though. Just keep in mind, I'm just doing smell tests. These are blind like smelling. So these on the skin may be totally different. Again, top notes, lemon, bergamot, heart notes, lily of the valley, freesia, rose de mai, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine, de grass, tuberose, base notes are sandalwood, oris, and musk. So this is definitely a very fresh um, floral, like they said, floral kind of sweet scent. Um, and yeah, I can see sensual because to me, 
Tuberose is, I guess, sexy in a way, but to me, it's a mature, very mature type of sexy without being gourmand. Usually when I go mature, I go gourmand. So if you like like Chanel fragrances and stuff like that, I think you will enjoy this. They don't smell the same at all, any of them, but it's like that same vein. So that was Scandal by Roja Parfums. And like I said, if you, if you like Chanel scents, I think you'll be able to definitely appreciate this. They don't smell the same at all, but kind of in that same vein, you know what I mean? Just like that sophisticated white floral type of scent. Okay, next we have Danger. Let's open this one up. So here we have another tag. Oh, I like it. I can already tell it's sweet. Y'all know Oriental Floral Sweet, me. Did I catch it? There you go. This is, this is me. Still getting that powdery, definitely getting that burst of freshness on top. I like it. What one thing I will say, let me tell you what I love. Or maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Wait. I just love this, okay? I like the fact that I'll talk about that at the end. Let me just pull up the notes, y'all. Look, I'm so excited. I just feel like this is all over the place, but this is the real. This is the real and how I'm going through this. Okay. Or oriental. I know my orientals oriental rich and soft it says you have been warned fresh sweet warm and sensual dangerous not just for those wearing it but for those who smell it on them a squeeze of bright lemon bergamot and mandarin create a zesty citrus nectar dripping down a demure note of rose de mai but be aware aphrodisiacs lurk in the shadows daring you to breathe in a little deeper creamy white flowers coax the sweetness of sandalwood and vanilla into a siren song where skin like orris and musk tempt you to lean a little closer just remember you have been warned now uh, wow that that turned quick oh that's different one thing I will say, you guys, if you notice, a lot of these notes are very similar. They don't smell the same. They kind of, they give you the same top a lot because it's that fresh burst, but the dry down on these are where they come alive and you see it's a totally different scent. This is crazy. Like, wow, this smells totally different. So again, top notes, lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin. They threw grapefruit in there. Heart notes, rose de mai, gardenia, jasmine de grass, ylang ylang, violet, and peach. Definitely getting the violet and the peach. And I think that's what initially drew me in. The dry down on this is wild. It's wild. The base notes, clove, leaf, clove, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, and orris musk. Okay, my favorites, tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, uh, rose de mai even. I enjoy that because it's a deep, sultry rose. This ain't for the faint of heart. I can see this being danger. Definitely dangerous. Scandal though, Scandal was given a little bit of a danger too. To me, I don't know. I'm just trying to think like, yeah, danger, yeah. It is, yeah. This is sexy though, y'all. I love this. This is so different. It's so sexy. The clove in this is crazy. It says, rather than warning those who smell it to stay away, danger is the type of scent that invites them to come closer, displaying a hidden Moorishness. The juice of four zesty citrus fr fruits melt into the velvety sweetness of peach and tonka bean, giving any who smell it a subliminal invite of something worth sinking their teeth into. Okay, dear Rosia. Prominent aphrodisiac notes of indulgent vanilla and warm, creamy jasmine blend into ylang ylang and a knowing blush of rose to create an intensely seductive floral heart. The sensuality and depth of sandalwood forms the bed upon which this entire fragrance lays whilst the animalic impulse of musk beckons a flirtatious come hither. Yeah, you did that one. You did that, Rosia. I mean, so far, 
I like them all. The only one that I probably would not reach for is Scandal. But this is very mature in my opinion, okay? This reminds me of something that like when I when I was a kid, this is what I'm picturing. When I was a child and like playing at my grandmother's vanity, this is what this reminds me of. Just sophistication. It seems like it'll have one of those little spray balls where you just spray it like that, you know, squeeze the ball. It's giving that. So maybe she had a fragrance back then that smelled something like this. It's very sophisticated, very mature. Um, and maybe that's why it's dangerous, but this is definitely not for the faint of heart. You got to be into that vintage type of vibe, if you know what I mean. This is good, though. I Like I said, I just, they're so different. Now, this last one just says Essence de Parfum. So I'm thinking that this is the original Elixir, which if it is, I am so excited to have this because, like I said, I did smell this um you know in the store and at the time i just wasn't in the market for purchasing something that was so fresh but i think this is the original elixir yep it's the pink one. Oh, look y'all so pretty and feminine let's see if it still smells the way that i remember i love it Oh, yes, I do remember this. So beautiful. Y'all. Ah. Oh. Wow. So this is the bottle up close. And as you can see, it does not have that little um, jewel in the middle. But the bottle is gorgeous just because it's like this peachy pink. Oh, I love it. This is such a beautiful feminine scent. Definitely fruity. Oh, this the one. This is the one. I'm so happy to have this. I feel like I am smelling the Mandarin more in this. This is very soft. This is daytime. This is, you know, you can wear you a pretty, like, mmm. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a white, like, sophisticated type of body con dress so you know the ones that is not like from fashion nova but it's like a really good quality thick material comes down to the knee you can wear you a nice white hat and you're with your ladies who brunch that's what i'm getting from this this is beautiful let's look at the notes on this one this is my favorite y'all this is my favorite. And I don't know if it's because it's familiar because sometimes it takes me a little minute to like really get into, you know, the vibes. Um, but this one I love. Oh, I love this. This has great reviews too, by the way. Um, $290, 3.4 fluid ounces. This one is Sensual Seduction. It's an Oriental. Again, you guys know I love my Orientals. And if you notice, the ones that say Oriental, I love them right off the bat. So that just means that the other ones, I like them, but they take a little bit more for me to get into them, you know? So this one says rich and soft, sweet, fruity, and warm. It says fragrance is like a magical elixir, invisible, a single drop, can transform you into a goddess. It has the power to make you feel irresistible, confident, and seductive where anything is possible. This magical elixir exudes effortless sensuality, giving you the power to light up a room, to leave an impression, and to get what you want. That is, yes, this is so feminine. This is like, mm, I don't know if this is controversial, but you know, there are women like this and I admire women like this because there are certain women who tell you exactly what you want and sometimes it can come off a little harsh. And then there are certain women who don't have to say it at all. They can just do a rub of the thigh, rub of the hand, rub of your shoulder and get exactly what, they're, what they want. But there's a power in that, you know what I mean? So it's like they don't have to say much because... They know how to use their feminine ways to get everything that they need and want without having to get loud or ask or anything. And that that for it, that's what that's given. I don't know if I went too deep into it, but listen, that's what it's given. Okay, the top notes are bergamot. 
The heart notes are lily of the valley, geranium, rose demise, jasmine de grass, ylang ylang, heliotrope, violet, raspberry, and peach. Um, in the base, you'll get violet leaves, cinnamon, cedar wood, cashmere wood, sandalwood, vanilla, oris, sir, cedri. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Also, another oris note and brett and musk okay it says a rich bouquet of lily of the valley geranium rose jasmine ylang ylang heliotrope and violet is made fruity through the inclusion of raspberry and peach the raspberry in this really makes it super feminine in my opinion and gives it that sweetness because with these other um notes it could lean a little bit more mature this one is not too mature i mean it's not like young by any means but it's i think this one would be well received by a lot of different people okay. a lively cinnamon softened by vanilla oris and an unusual note of oris sir cedri cedri i don't know how to pronounce that the whole counterpointed by costly violet leaves and citrus bergamot where whispers of musk and amber add sensuality sensuality to the base this is my favorite this is my absolute favorite let's rate these in the order that i would purchase with my own money so first it would definitely be elixir i've actually been thinking about getting this one um i love it super feminine um and it's perfect for spring and summer beautiful 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 fragrance it's not scary it's different enough you know but it's not something that you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, who's going to like this or whatever. I think this is a safe buy. So if you're looking to blind buy one, get Elixir. Okay. My second favorite would be Creation E. Um, I like this one a lot. Very different, a little dark, but I still think that it's beautiful. I like the powdery note. If I had to compare this to something, it does not smell like it, but because of the powdery note, I would say um, Oud Satin Mood by Francis Kirk John, only because it's powdery yet deep and sensual. Um, but this one is a little bit more lively. You can wear this in the daytime, I would say, because it does have those super fresh top notes of bergamot and lemon and you know all those things so love creation e so that would be my second choice my third choice would be danger i love the deepness of this one i would wear this on a date night so beautiful um very unique the dry down on this one is wild okay very wild very different than what you smell at the top so keep that in mind if you're looking for something different um that won't choke you because this i feel like if it was the original parfum this will choke everybody in the room but because this is the essence of parfum i think that it's a little safer but it's still a very 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 unique scent okay and then my fourth choice would be 51. i like that regalness that it's giving it's giving a little bit like i said that masculine feel very sophisticated um it's given you know a woman in a suit going into work with a briefcase but she don't really have to go to work she just hops on the jet to the next destination nation that type of boss lady um yeah i like this one i like this one a lot and last but not least my last choice would be scandal let me smell it again it's just very different to me okay this one i think danger is a little bit more different this one has that tuberose note in there that is, is not really my jam but I do think that a lot of you all would like it, especially if you like tuberose. If you like Gucci Bloom, try this one out because it has something a little bit different in there than Gucci Bloom does. Um, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, especially for the tuberose lovers out there. Now, one thing I wanted to say about these fragrances is that for me, I love my oriental florals and I love deep beast mode fragrances. But if you're anything like me, when it comes to spring and summer, you kind of don't know what to do, what to get. Um, so my palette changes completely. I go from super deep oriental florals to very fresh, either aquatic or, you know, very feminine, fresh florals not tuberose because tuberose is very heavy so i have like two totally different scent palettes if you love those deep florals but you want to do something different come spring and summer but 
You don't want to veer off too much and you just feel like you don't have any options. These are the ones. They're fresh enough to be um, worn in the spring and summer and daytime appropriate, but they still give you those same beast mode type vibes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hate if it was all over the place for you all, but I was so excited so I couldn't contain it. Uh, but anyway, I'll have everything linked and in information down below in the description box and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye, y'all.